A new documentary goes behind the scenes of Mitt Romney's presidential campaign. The filmmaker got direct, unprecedented access to the former Massachusetts governor. Jan Crawford is in Washington. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning, Charlie and Carissa. Okay, so this movie, it's already triggering a debate among Republicans who really thought the election was Romney's to lose. Now, it starts airing Friday on Netflix, but Romney was among those who showed up over the weekend to get an early look. His appearance was a surprise. Romney at the Sundance Film Festival for the premiere of the documentary, Mitt. The ending I probably won't like, but uh, nonetheless, I think it'll be a, a good experience and probably give uh, my family and others a chance to see what it's like to run for president, which, by the way, is one of life's most extraordinary experiences. The filmmakers had six years of extraordinary access, offering a glimpse of the Republican nominee that most voters never saw, playing in the snow with his grandchildren, gathering with his family. And if you don't win, we'll still love you. Uh, <laughs> and while news cameras focused on televised debates, they brought us whole binders full of, uh, of women. Filmmaker Greg Whiteley was capturing Romney offstage in airplanes, buses, and hotel rooms. I can't tell you how many times I, I sat there either before a debate with Barack Obama or before a New Hampshire primary where I just would think, what am I doing here? He said, you know, even if we, we never make a movie out of this, it'd be a wonderful uh, journal to keep for your family of what your presidential campaign was like. The ending on election night is no surprise. This election is over. But our principles endure. But after struggling with doubts during the campaign, Romney looked caught off guard. So what do you think you say in a concession speech? By the way, someone have a number for the president? I do. Okay. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. In a time of tightly controlled campaigns, the filmmaker says the documentary shows a candid and intimate look at the candidate. The question is whether that look at Romney during the campaign would have made any difference in the outcome. Now, for Republicans, I think the biggest takeaway so far are the scenes where Romney really seems to be struggling with his confidence and questioning whether he can win. There, there is a fair amount of Monday morning quarterbacking going on here, Charlie and Carissa, but the point is that Romney's uh, occasional pessimism about his chances could have been a self-fulfilling prophecy. Clarissa, Charlie? It also could have shown a more humane, interesting person. Sometimes when you're running for president, you don't get a chance to expose what makes you attractive as Absolutely. a human being. Absolutely. We know so little about so many of our politicians. Jan Crawford, yeah. thanks.